runners, runners, what's the deal, man? Coming at y'all from Secaucus, New Jersey. Not too far from New York City. I am at a Red Roof Inn hotel that the company Western Express put me in during training from our home time. This is how Western, and this is how Western Express does on home time in training. My trainer is from New York, Brooklyn to be exact. And they put me in a nice little hotel room at the Red Roof here in Secaucus, New Jersey. And I must say this room is relatively clean. And it's only two o'clock. Good afternoon, I got it till Monday morning. Today is Saturday. Should I go to New York City? I don't know. I'm looking crazy right now. Hair is a mess. Don't care. Should I go to New York City is the question. Brother Brad ain't looking that great. <laughs> but somehow, somewhere, I'm gonna try to figure out something. I don't know if I'm gonna go there, but I'm gonna do something. You know what I mean? So, yo, man, it took me like two hours a long time to get out here into training but I'll talk a little bit about how orientation went for me um, at Western Express so it's just it was only two days you know what I'm saying it's you know it's supposed to be really fast um, it was not fast for me and I'll explain here in a minute why it was not but you know on that first day they just bring you in do the drug test and physical so you know after they get that out of the way you know you go and do your back and test which surprised me on that first day it's like a 45 degree back you know put the trailer into a slot you got two trailers on both sides and then you do a driving test which is basically around the block there in Bethlehem where I was at Bethlehem PA so that's the first day second day you come back and you do a Qualcomm class and uh, some safety classes. And that's the orientation, man. As soon as you're done with that, they get you hooked up with a trainer and you're out the door. I watched everybody in my class like get up out of there like within 24 to 48 hours after orientation was over. So I didn't get out of there. I ended up sticking around. Um, so it turns out that my probation officer back in Virginia Beach that wrote my release letter because I'm not on probation anymore. And the company wanted to verify that letter. She just was not that responsive. Um, the company kept trying to contact her and she wasn't returning the calls and she wasn't in the office half the time. I had family back there calling in and everything. But um, anyway, they finally, you know, had a meeting of the minds and caught up with one another and, and cleared me. So I got to go out for my uh, for my training. And before I start talking about that, um, oh yeah, the, the food the food in uh, orientation was not as bad as you know as people say it might have been. It wasn't that great either. But it, I mean, it wasn't bad. You know, breakfast you get a bag that has a like a granola style bar a cheap little danish in there and a piece of fruit a bottle of water and it might be a juice in there that, that that's your breakfast at lunch if you're at the terminal there's a truck that comes by a food truck that has food on it um i didn't think the food was all that great but it's it's not bad if you don't have any money or whatever, you know, you're not gonna go hungry. Um, and then for, for dinner, they gave you subway cards, and I, I found the subway pretty good. I, I always got like the, the spinach, the rotisserie chicken and spinach wraps in there. I thought they were bomb myself, but um, yeah, so that's the food. But uh, it's 
So let me get into, you know, how training went or is going because I'm, I'm only done with week one. I got to do 150 hours of drive time, which is probably going to take me anywhere between three and four weeks to complete. So they, they, they try to assign you a driver that's probably going to, you know, vibe with you or whatever, or at least give you that opportunity to do that. At least that's what I saw at Western Express. Oh, snap. Hold up. I, I tried to catch them damn boats, yo. They went by too quick. <laughs> okay, so I'm back at it. But, um... My, they try to hook you up with a with a trainer that's more you know aligned with your personality or whatever. So you know I don't smoke. I didn't want to be hooked up with a smoker. You know I would have if need be, but if I could avoid it, I'll avoid it. And they assigned me to um, this cat from Brooklyn. He's a younger dude. You know I'm like 20 years older than him. But I tell you what. Uh, I don't mind being hooked up with this guy, he's very knowledgeable, um, and we kind of, you know, we vibing pretty good, I would say, and that was important for me. I didn't want to be stressing, you know, living in such a close proximity with someone that I didn't like. So I'm out here with this dude, and uh, he's explaining to me, um, and, you know, my first week went pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I, I did make some mistakes, you know, my back is absolutely fucking sucks. <laughs> but, yo, I've already seen some progress in my back in the first week. Um, as far as, like, running, you know, I'm doing, I think I'm doing damn good as far as running goes. Um, I had a couple of days in there where I, I had uh, some pretty good mileage, you know, 491 miles on one day another day I had like over 500 so um, that's pretty that's pretty good um, I've been driving day and night I would have to say the majority of it yeah, it's been about 60 40 I think I think about 60% of my drive time has been at night and I'll be honest with you um, I, I actually prefer it that way because one thing about nighttime driving, man, that I've noticed, the, the way stations are usually not open. It's a lot less traffic out there. Um, it's some drunk drivers and stuff like that going on, you know, that you gotta be very, you know, wary and mindful about. But overall, I, I like nighttime driving better. I tell you, man, driving during the day, especially when I was driving through places like DC, yo. Yo, the four wheelers, yo, they gamble with their life, yo. <laughs> Straight up. They be driving mad crazy, yo. I mean, like, it's almost like they just want something to happen or something so they can get their little insurance money or whatever. It was crazy, you know what I mean? But week one was like, it was like really, really, really really great man I'm, I'm loving I'm loving the training so far um, and you know a lot of people got all this bad stuff to say about Western Express I mean I even mentioned it in one of my initial videos let me tell you something man um, yeah they're not the highest paying company man you know they're a second chance company this and that but man I, I don't see it I, I don't see I don't see the, the bad that I kept hearing about the company for real. And no company is 100% good. You know, I'm, I know it's gonna be some things as I go forward that I don't like about the company, but yo, they kept us running the whole first week, man. Yeah, we got to some places where something was supposed to be preload, like a trailer was supposed to be preloaded. It wasn't, we had to wait and this and that. But that's every company, you gotta experience that with every company. Miscommunications with every company. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm digging Western Express so far. So that's all I'm trying to say. Um, one more thing I want to talk about too is um, hygiene out here on the road. So like, I see a lot of a lot of drivers, you know, 
even trainers, they, they just be nasty. They don't wash, excuse me. They don't wash. Yo, my trainer was nice enough to even give me, you know, showers off of his car. Because you get points or whatever from the Flying J's and some truck stops. For, you know, every, every so often, I think it's like $50 worth of fuel or whatever. For every $50 worth of fuel, you get a shower. You know, we may go drop three, four hundred dollars on fuel, you know what I'm saying? That's multiple showers. So I literally got to wash every day. I had an opportunity to wash every day out here. Okay. The one time that I did not wash, I still had an opportunity to bird bath at a shipper. You know, I got more than enough bee wipes and body style shower wipes as well. There's no reason to be stinking out here. So just get that out your mind. If you're thinking about coming out here to truck, being in a truck, and, you know, your hygiene not being able to wash. The, the people that you hear about or the people that you see stinking and nasty, that, that's because they're like that anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like that, yo. You, you, can, you can wash out here. The truck stops got showers. You ain't gonna have to pay for them because you're getting fuel. Pack your baby wipes for when you can't wash. It's sinks where you can bird bath. It's, it's, hygiene is not an issue out here. I did not have a, a hygiene problem. So, other than that, man, I am super motivated for week two. My goal for week two is to run even harder if I can do it. You know, if I can average, say, 500 miles in a day, that'll get plenty of hours knocked off. But I need to get that 150 hours down. I don't know how many hours I drove um, in the first week, but I'll definitely have an update after the, the second week and see where I'm sitting at. And another goal that I got for week two is to get good at backing. I want to get some practice in backing to where, you know, it becomes a little bit more natural. Uh, my school did not teach 45 degree backing or alley docking because that's not required on our CDL test in Virginia. So um, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, all is good out here, man. They put me, put me in nice hotels. You know, it's nice restaurants out here. I'm enjoying, you know, the weather out here in Sakharov, New Jersey, I think next week, I will definitely be crossing the bridge and the water over there to New York City, hanging out there, see if I can holler at the Puerto Rican wind. <laughs> you know? um, but that's neither here nor there. I like all women, so they ain't gotta be Puerto Rican. I just see an abundance of them out here in Sakharov, that's why um, they're on my mind like that. But, uh, yo, I hope that everybody is doing well out there. You know what I'm saying? Doing what they gotta do to take care of their families. If you're thinking about getting in the trucking, man, I gotta tell you, uh, it's definitely something you should really look into. Just do it if you're thinking about it, for real. Um, I'm just, lo I'm loving it so far. And I'm really loving it when them checks start flowing. That's it, man. Take care of you and yours, man. I'm gonna give y'all one more shot out of, out of out here what this little area look like behind the hotel. Until y'all keep running, man. Peace. I can't even get a good shot of the buildings uh, that on the other side of the hotel. I might do that in another video before I get out of here. Of course, that's the red roof. This red roof is much better than the one in Bethlehem. Not, not that the one in Bethlehem is bad, but this one is like a more, it's like upscale, yo. It's just great. I'm out of here.